I was a passenger in a train accident in 2011 and I had several injuries. I had a brain injury, my pelvis was broken, my lungs were collapsed, my back was fractured and my jaw was broken. So I don't really remember a whole lot of that time, but I'm okay now. <laughs> as soon as we got here and got her on the floor, um, when we got here, we knew the Lord had put us here. Um, we just got an overwhelming peace that everything was going to be okay, and it was. I did six weeks in as an inpatient at Shepherd, and then I did six weeks at Pathway, the outpatient facility. Being an inpatient was more of like relearning things, like them telling me, you know, just things that I normally people would know, just I didn't remember. And then Pathway was more of, okay, now take all that you learned at Shepherd into action on your own. Having a place to stay while we were at Shepherd uh, was very helpful. Um, we were able to get away from the hospital, but we were still at the hospital and close enough to be with her. They really can't tell you, you know, what she's going to remember and what she's not going to remember. It's just, you know, how she, how her brain heals. So, um, but it, it was, I mean, it was good. It was a very good outcome. So now that I work in a hospital, um, I do ultrasounds of the heart. And so when the patients lay on the bed and I'm scanning their heart, all they have to look at is basically my scars. So they always see my trach scar and they say, can I ask you a personal question? And I just, inside, I kind of giggle because I know what they're going to ask me. And they say, what happened to your throat? Did you get into a fight and somebody tried to stab you? And I'm like, no, I got hit by a train and um, I have this, I, you know, trach scar. And uh, they're like, there's no way you got hit by a train. You're like, you look normal. So I always tell them, only by the grace of God am I here and walking, talking. Miracle, pretty much.